public transit across all of Niagara is a step closer to being consolidated this morning. Niagara Regional Chair Jim Bradley joins us with more. Good morning to you. Good morning. So this was a really important meeting last night for public transit across the region. It certainly was. It was a three hour meeting and council had to make a decision as to whether to proceed with with one am amalgamated system or retain the systems we have now. And council overwhelmingly voted in favor of a new system, which would be one regional system, consolidating all of the ones that exist at the present time and providing service right across Niagara. Now, will the name change at all? And, and I guess the first thing that people are going to be wondering, are there jobs going to be lost because of this or jobs gained? They'll be pretty well absorbed uh, within the system because we have systems that exist at the present time. So we don't anticipate job losses taking place. And since we're going to expand the service, it may be even that there are additional jobs that will be able to be uh, filled by, by various people within the community. And, and this is going to be quite the orchestration because it's taking 12 separate, at least 12 separate uh, transit um, agencies and putting them into one. Um, so this is like, I guess, step one, regional chair's approval of, or regional council's approval of it is the first step in this. Yes, we have a triple majority that's required. The first majority has to be in regional council. That happened last night. Uh, majority of the local municipalities, there are 12 of them, have to approve, and that must be a majority of the population of Niagara. Uh, but I'm, uh, I'm optimistic that that is going to happen because I could see how much enthusiasm there was among regional council members and those who made presentations to council last night unanimously were in favor of uh, proceeding with the regional transit system. Right, and, and I can imagine that there are probably lots of people who work in one community and maybe live in another, that this is gonna be a really easy way of them getting on the bus and encouraging more people to use public transit, right? It's exceedingly important to those, first of all, who require public transit to get around. The businesses in the area also believe that we need uh, public transit for people to be able to get from one part of Niagara to another part of Niagara where their job might happen to be existing. So uh, there was a great uh, deal of support for it, as I say, amongst those who you might consider on the, the left side of the spectrum and those on the right side of the spectrum. Okay, also good for the environment too, right? If you've got more buses, more people taking buses, fewer cars off the road, more cars off it the road. Allows, it allows that option and it certainly is better for the environment. In addition to that, we want to have full commuter go service down here in Niagara and we'll be able to bring people to the points, the stations in Niagara Falls, St. Catharines, ultimately in, in uh, certainly Grimsby and in Lincoln. And if we have a system that brings people there, we're really in a very, very good situation. Will this improve transit for rural areas of Niagara? Uh, no question about it. Some of them do not have the kind of yeah. service they'd like to have now, and it will improve. We have embarked upon a, uh, a system now where you simply call up and somebody will come to the house. That's very, very valuable. But we want people to be able to get from one end of the Niagara Peninsula to the other, and this is going to uh, affect people positively, both in the large urban centers and the rural centers. Okay, on another topic right now, Niagara Region is encouraging its residents to uh, fill out surveys regarding discrimination. What's this about? Well, we jo joined a coalition of, uh, of uh, inclusive municipalities, that's under UNESCO. And we wanna really see uh, who makes up Niagara now? What is the demographic profile of Niagara? And do people feel included uh, is there the, the kind of diversity we'd like to have? Are people experiencing any discrimination, for instance? So we're trying to find out what their experience is, and when we find that out, we can adjust our policies to suit those people. It's uh, up until December 1st of this year online, and we're having good participation in it now, but it'll give us a good profile and uh, help us with future policies and programs. Okay, and again, that's online on the Niagara Region uh, website? Yes. Okay. Yes. Niagara Regional Chair Jim Bradley, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Annette, it's always a pleasure.